Hi, this is Chase Holthouse over at Bangard Inc. I wanted to show you guys today the ease of using the ToolOps app while out in the field to request tools from the warehouse. Um, super easy, super simple. I'm actually just showing you today on my cell phone, but this works with iPhones, Androids, iPads, anything like that, any mobile device it will work on. So let me show you guys how to do this here. So I am in the field side, the ToolWatch field side. And from here, you can see there's a home screen. You can search for tools that are um, in, in different locations at different job sites, move tools from job site to job site. You can also verify what tools are at your job site, do a soft verification just to make sure you still have a good count on all the tools you have. But today, we're actually going to be requesting tools from our warehouse. So all I did was click the, my request here. And you can see there's different tabs up here on the top. Um, right now, I have a draft going for Anchor Brewing Company. Um, I'm going to that job site, say, here in a couple months um, I can, or a couple weeks. I can start building up, you know, making a list of all the tools that I'm going to need as I'm kind of going through it uh, before I submit it to the warehouse so I make sure I have an accurate count. I'm going to go ahead and save that back to the draft. You can see um, we're going to go ahead and submit a new request today. So we'll go up here to the right to the plus button. I'll press that. And then you're going to want to decide what project you're going to want to put it in. I am wanting to, to have it shipped to the US Bank Stadium project. I'm going to go ahead and click that here. And if you have one of your Sage softwares hooked up to this, you'll be able to see the cost center from your Sage will come all the way down to when you're transferring tools. So if you're using your warehouses as profit centers or anything like that, um, it'll work through here as well. I'm able to put a due by date on here as well. So I'm actually not going to need this till the um, till the 18th, um, till tomorrow. So I will put that on there. And then you can also put notes on there. If you have any specific requests or anything like that, you'll be able to put that on there as well. So we're going to go ahead and hit next here. And then we're going to go up here to the three dots to the right here and add an item. So as you can see, you can go through and you can see all kinds of tools, materials, whatever you're needing to find. For me today, I know I'm going to need a compressor, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. Once you've selected compressor, you can see um, the different compressors that, that are in the warehouse that I'm picking from. Um, and they also have pictures that come with them as well, so it makes it easy to make sure you're ordering the right tool. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the Thomas, and I'm only needing one of those. Let's see, next, I think I'm gonna need, uh, I also need a cordless drill. I'm gonna put, look for drills here real quick. And it'll show you all the, all your different drills. Um, and also, you know, different things that come with your drills. So I need a cordless drill. It'll show me all my cordless drills that I have at that warehouse. Go ahead and take the first one here. And then um, along with that, I'm also gonna need a drill bit set. Type it right here. So we can see drill pit sets here, and it's under material. So I'm going to click on that. And it uh, looks like the only one we have in stock is Milwaukee's, which worked well for me. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And I'm only going to need one drill bit set. But say you need two or three of these, you can request those as you need to, um, or any other kind of materials. So, you know, hard hats, safety glasses, gloves rooms, anything like that, you can add to the quantities, whatever you're going to need. So I've added that item. So if I come back out here, I'm going to see for the US Bank Stadium job, which is the one I'm working on, these are the three items that I'm going to request. So I'm going to go up here, go to the right, and click Submit. Once I click Submit, I'll get the notification um, that it has been, um, has been submitted to the warehouse. Um, once that's submitted to the warehouse, the warehouse is going to either get a text message or an email, however your, your team decides to set that up. But it'll make it really easy for them to get that notification. And now you can come in here and you can see as you're on the project, you can see submitted. I, this, is the, this is my um, ticket that I just submitted. It's in there right now, the US Bank Stadium. Um, if it was going through, I'd also be able to do in progress. Um, so that'll let me know when they've started picking it. It'll show up in the in progress. And then it'll also show up completed. So I've had some ones in the past. Um, but as those are completed, you'll get a notification, either a text message or an email out in the field, as well as in your app, it'll let you know when it's completed. Um, this is, just helps so that way you can see in real time when your tools are going to be ready 
and when you can get those out to you. Uh, if you guys have any more questions about this, please let us know. Give us a call here at Banger. And also pay attention for my next video, uh, which will show the warehouse side and show you how pick tickets are done on your mobile device. Super easy, super simple. Thank you.